Hello friends! Welcome to the future in the year 3120. I'm so glad that you found your way to Hope Headquarters. My name is Zab and I'm one of the pros here at Hope Headquarters where we help others have hope by praying, remembering, and obeying God. You look like some happy helpers. Hey, while you're here in the future with me, you can become a pro at having hope and helping others too. We're gonna have a zapping good time. Now everyone who helps out here at Hope Headquarters gets to use some super cool gadgets that help us help others. Here, let me show you. These are my galaxy glasses. They help me flash back into the past and flash forward into the future. We'll try these out in a little while. Next, we have a special watch. This helps us do so many things here in the future. Let me see you point to your special watch just like mine. Oh, zappy day! Now here at Hope Headquarters, we have lots of robot friends. These robots look and act a lot like people. They even like to dance. But first, we need to start them up. We do that by singing the robot rock. Stand up and sing it with me. Nova, you're gonna fit right in with all of our robot friends. Oh hey, did you hear that sound coming from our special watches? That sound means we're getting a call from one of our robot friends right now. If we tap our watches, we can see the message. Everyone, tap your special watch with me and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy, Zappy Tappy! Zappy. We did it! Look everyone, this is my friend R12. Everyone, welcome R12 to Hope Headquarters by waving and saying beep bop. Beep bop! Beep bop, everyone. Zap, I have a problem, and I wanted to see if you could help me solve it. Earlier today, I was playing with my friend, and when she tried to play with one of my cars, I yelled at her and said mean things. Oh, Zap. I'm not sure if my friend will ever play with me again. What's a bot to do? Oh man, R12, it sounds like your hope tank is running low. You need a little P-R-O. Friends, we need to help R12. There's a story from God's Word that is sure to help R12 have hope again. To hear a story from God's Word, the Bible, first we need to turn on our listening ears. Let's turn them on together by saying click, click. Click, click. Great. Now everyone, put on your galaxy glasses with me and say zoop, zoop. 
Zip, zoop! Flashing back to the Bible in five, four, three, two, one. This is Peter. Can you say Peter? Peter! Peter was a fisherman who was friends with Jesus. He followed Jesus everywhere he went. Peter told Jesus that he would always be his friend. But on the night when Jesus was arrested, a little girl looked at Peter and said, You were with Jesus. And Peter said, No, I don't know what you're talking about. This happened one, two, three times. Then Peter felt really sad because he knew he had not told the truth. He had been with Jesus because Jesus was his friend. But on this night, Peter had not been a good friend to Jesus. The next day, Jesus died to take the punishment for all the wrong things we do. And Peter didn't know if anything good was ever going to happen again. But flash forward, three days later, God did do something good. He brought Jesus back to life. Jesus loved Peter and wanted to see him again. So one day, while Peter was out fishing on a boat, Jesus stood on the shore and called out to him. When Peter realized it was Jesus, he was so excited. Peter jumped right out of the boat and swam to shore. Can you swim with him? When Peter got to the shore, Jesus cooked him breakfast, and they went for a walk on the beach. As they walked and talked, Jesus said that he wanted Peter to take care of everyone who follows him. Jesus said that things wouldn't always be easy, but that he didn't need to worry. Instead, all Peter needed to do was follow him. And Peter obeyed. Flash forward. Several years later, Peter heard that some of Jesus' followers were feeling sad and scared. He wanted them to have hope and be happy that God was going to do good things for them. So Peter wrote them letters and reminded them that when they need hope, they can talk to God by praying. He also said that when we are feeling sad or scared or worried, we can flash back and remember all the good things God has done like when he brought Jesus back to life. And we can flash forward and remember all the blessings God has for us in heaven. Peter also told the people to keep obeying all that God says to do. He knew that praying, remembering, and obeying would help them be pros at having hope. Hope is when we are happy because we know that God will do good things, and God gives us hope as we pray, remember, and obey, just like Peter and Jesus' followers learned to do. Flashtastic! God gives me hope, and he gives you hope too. Say this after me. God gives... God gives... Me hope. Me hope. That story we just heard from God's Word will definitely help R1 too with his problem, and it can help us too. I want to play a game using our special watches to see how much you remember from our Bible story. To see our first question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy, Zappy Tappy. Tappy! Friends, when Peter was walking on the beach with Jesus, was he sleeping or talking to Jesus? Talking! That's right! Peter was walking beside Jesus and talking with him. We might not be able to walk right beside God's son, Jesus, but we can still talk to him by praying. R12, God will give you hope as you pray. Happy helpers, let's all pray with R12 right now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Now repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Please help me. Please help me. I love you. Amen.
I love you. Amen. Look, when we prayed, it put some hope in R12's hope tank. Praying will make us all pros at having hope. Okay, to see our next question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! When Peter wrote letters to Jesus' followers, did he tell them to forget what Jesus had done or remember? Remember! You got it! Peter saw Jesus die, and he saw how God brought Jesus back to life. Whenever we need hope, we can remember that if God can do that, he can do anything we need him to do. R12, God will give you hope as you remember what he has done and what he has promised to do. Happy helpers! Let's give R12 some hope by telling him to remember on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! Remember! Look! When R12 remembered, it put some hope in his hope tank. Remembering will make us all pros at having hope. But there is one more thing we all need to do. So to see our last question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Our next question says, when Jesus and Peter took a walk on the beach, did Jesus tell Peter to sail away or obey? Obey! That's it! Peter prayed, remembered, and obeyed God. And when he did all those things, God gave Peter hope. R12, you can obey today by sharing with your friend and saying you're sorry, because that's what God tells us to do. Happy helpers! Let's tell R12 to obey on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! Obey! Beep bop boop beep. Now I see there's hope for me. Next time my hope runs low, I'll just say P-R-O. See you later, Zap. See you later, R12. Look at that, happy helpers. God gave R12 hope as he prayed remembered, and obeyed. God gives us hope too. Say that again after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. I'm so glad that we flashed back to the Bible so that we could help R12 with this problem. Here at Hope Headquarters, we have what's called a future memory bank. That's where we send our memories to the future for the next time that we need hope. Would you like to help me send R12's memories to the future memory bank? Yeah! Supernova! We can do that by saying what we learned today. Let's all say it together now. Just repeat after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. Happy helpers, look! We sent what we learned to the future memory bank, and now the future's looking bright. Today, we learned that God gives us hope. And hope is when we are happy, because we know that God will do good things. Let's all stand up and sing a song to show God how happy we are that he gives us hope. Can't stop dancing. Put a hope
great job! Thanks for visiting me here in the future and helping out at Hope Headquarters today. As you flash back in time, remember that God gives you and me hope. Stop by any time and have a zappy day.